Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here, and today's video I'm going to go over some of the problems you encounter while traveling. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe, and here we go. Basically, the best thing that you can do for yourself is allow yourself enough time for planning and execution of your trip. If you do decide to go to one country, you know, stay in your home country, travel multiple countries, you know, that's your choice. But the more complicated the travel and the more countries and the longer the trip is, it's going to require a lot more planning. You know, if you go on, like, say, a weekend getaway, you know, it doesn't really require as much planning as if you take a, a six-month vacation to multiple countries. So depending on your trip and what, what you want to do with it, just, you know, plan accordingly. And it, it's always better give yourself a little more extra time and this helps in anything with getting your passport you know that that means the difference of if you overnight it it's it's gonna cost you three four times as much as if you just ordered it and did the standard mail it came in the mail over time and and you know there was no hurry it did take two to three weeks but you know it's not going to cost you as much. The same with a plane ticket. If you just jump on on the computer or go to the airport and, and you go to get your ticket, then, you know, if you plan to fly the next day or that day, it's going to be tremendously more expensive than if you planned it, say, six months out. So, again, huge savings there. Then you have also, if you give yourself time, you have time to research what it is you're doing and you know looking at these different areas maybe talk to other people that have done it jumped on the website read the information tutorials that these companies have and then that way you know what to do you know the time to fly you know okay you order the passport it's going to take two to three weeks so just expect that to come in and then when you get into into country you don't want to lose everything so you want to have like a nice you know, I suggest something like this, you know, it's, you know, it holds your passport, it can hold your wallet, it straps to your body, it's got a clipping mechanism, and then a second locking mechanism, you can strap it over your shoulder, around your waist, but it keeps everything secured to you, so that way, you know, you're not fumbling around, stuff in different pockets, if you go to, you know, some of these areas, you know, pickpocketing is a, a big thing. They, they actually, if you have a backpack, they'll try to slash your bag and, and take stuff out there. So, you know, when you do get into country, you don't want to, you know, get robbed. And now, now that's all your money. Your passport is gone. And, you know, your phone was in there. So, and you're trying to call in, in a different country where you don't really understand the phone system. Or it's a, a lot harder than just if you picked up your your phone and just had the numbers in there and called someone for help or assistant. So stuff like that, you know, how much you're going to pack, you know, it, it makes a big difference if you're, you know, the type of trip. If you decide to backpack around the entire country or multiple countries and you're just going to hike, you know, from town to town, that that's different than if you're flying from town to town, flying from one big city to, to the next, because then you're in the city you have all, all, everything's there. You have restaurants, you've got, you know, medical facilities if you do happen to break a leg, and you just ate, everything's there. Where if you're backpacking from town to town, you know, you know, that's consideration too. The weather, you have the weather to contend with, you have, you know, you, you need water, and depending on how far these, these places are, you know that's going to be a lot of weight in your pack if you're if you if the town's five six miles away then you you got to take a lot of water especially if it's in tropical con environment and you're just hiking in the sun you know you're going to drink a lot of water and you're going to need a lot of water and you don't want to be out there hiking from town to town and then you run out of water and you don't really know you're not familiar with the area so you know you're hoping you know there's another town or you're hoping there's a gas station around the corner but pretty much you know get get an idea of your surroundings you know you, you get an pretty much you can tell 
if it's going to be in the countryside for 15 miles or if you know the next town's right right across the way you know talk to the locals see what's going on see see where things are to where you can actually get a resupply you know there's just so many considerations but the biggest thing is is define what type of trip it is you're going to take and then that should kind of tell you and then look at other people who have done their trips you know if they've gone to another country look at you know if they go to the philippines look at someone that has gone to the philippines before if you go to thailand look at somebody who's gone to thailand before it and, and if you're going and you know people in the country that makes it a lot easier than if you actually you know you go to a country and you don't know anybody but there's also ways to be proactive about that say you go to a country you don't know anybody well if you do multiple countries you can kind you you can kind of you know you're going to these countries so you can talk to people make contacts read research and then i i'm going to the philippines i've never been there before i don't know anybody but i've already met somebody there through friends that have you know people that live there that i'm going to meet and then they're going to show me around show me some sites and that makes it a lot easier than just you know okay i don't know anybody and i'm showing up at the airport thailand the same way that's my next country after the philippines and you know i don't i've never been to thailand i don't know anybody in thailand but i've already i'm here in japan and i've met people that live in thailand and i've become friends with them you know got got the facebook information you know gotten to know them a little bit and when i get to thailand they're going to show me around that i've actually met somebody that lives in bangkok i'm flying into bangkok they're going to meet me there and we're just going to you know go go out and hang out and they're going to show me around and and i trust them because i've gotten to know them in japan it's not i fly into the airport and i just walk up and you know talk to somebody on the street and say hey can you show me around town you know it, it's it's nothing like that you kind of you'll leave yourself a little vulnerable if you do stuff like that so you know know the laws it, it, as in each airport different requirements there for you know if it's just you fly in and you get a visa or if you fly in and you have to have a visa before you arrive you know that makes a difference and everything that you don't know and, and all the mistakes that you make it's it's three to ten times harder to try to solve these problems in a different country in a different language you have limited resources you only have what's on you so you know to to encounter some of these problems you know you'll see when you do it and then you look back at some of the mistakes you made and you you just go wow i wish i would have known that prior and there's a lot that you can do but you're still going to encounter some sort of issue or problem or change in plans just with the nature of what it is so you know but again you can mitigate a lot of that just by research talking to people and you know you, you got to make it happen for yourself so you can have a good time and not a bad time so again i have other videos please check out my intro video it explains you know everything that i'm doing for the channel if you do like the video please like and subscribe and that'll be it for today have a good day.